Hi guys, welcome to In 5 Minutes. We are doing a video on memory management. We already understood that memory has a hierarchy right from the tech drives going to the optical, then magnetic, then to your RAM, then to L1, L2, L3 cache or rather L3, L2, L1 cache and CPU register. Now let's try to understand a very important term which we will not discuss called as the address binding. What exactly address binding? We all know the meaning of word called binding. The word simply means that we are trying to put something together. The binding word means putting things together. Okay. Now in this particular thing what we are trying to put together. We all know that we have a CPU that is central processing unit which will eventually read data from the storage media. Now consider an example of storage media can be a hard disk drive. Now, CPU would always communicate with something which we call as logical address but at the same time storage tend to communicate with something which we call as physical address. How this would differ? Consider this way. According to CPU, CPU is targeting from ith location i plus fourth instruction but now when it comes to the hard disk on a platter it would be stored in some sector and some track so we have one issue how a logical address which is of some instruction would be converted to a physical address on a particular platter this particular process is called binding we are trying to put together we are trying to bind together two ends that is how things are gonna be worked on the logical address and how they would be converted to physical address although this is taken care by the OS itself but this does require a good amount of processing plus when it comes to the address space we have different address spaces also so type of address spaces these address spaces would exist between the program and the final disk let's understand in program we will use some variables like anti x anti y anti z this kind of program would use something we call as symbolic address this symbolic address which consists i and t x is equal to 10 and so on would be converted to relocatable address space now what do you mean by relocatable address and who is going to do this okay number one this is done by the compiler yes you heard it right compiler is going to do that all the instructions would be now put into such a table which can be placed any physical location they would have their own address they'll have their own address but they can be completely relocated why compiler does this because ultimately to run the program program would be converted to object code object code will be stored in the RAM and from the RAM the data would be read so what we are doing is converting a symbolic address of variables into a physical address via the first step relocatable after converting it to a relocatable option the next thing which will happen is converting things to physical address we this time call it absolute address this is majorly done by the loader and linker why loader and linker because loader will only provide loader will only provide data about where data which user program or user has written is getting stored and linker will simply link it to a physical address which is needed so type of address spaces would be symbolic address relocatable address and absolute address after going through all this trouble we would be communicating with the final storage that's it that's address binding thank you guys